What's up everyone, V here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Star Wars The Black Series, Death Watch Mandalorian, from Star Wars The Mandalorian. It's just, it's weird calling it that, because, you know, the show's just called The Mandalorian, but, you know, Star, because Star Wars, but yeah. This is the Death Watch Mando, as he appeared in the flashback in the finale of Season 1 of The Mandalorian, and I really hope that we get some kind of form of this kind of trooper in season three because I, I i love it so much and i love this figure so much this mm, i'm gonna say it right now might be my favorite black series of all time this guy is so good but like most things that are so amazing he has one sin holding him back from being absolute perfection we'll get to that after oh, oh you can't, well if you can see it all you already see what the problem is but let's talk about the box first. It's your standard black series fair. Star Wars The Mandalorian. Nice orange color for it. Death Watch Mandalorian. Warning 4 Plus. Hasbro. The black series. Clear. Nothing. Yeah, black series. Line. Some really, really great art. He's actually way higher than most. Most, like, their heads end around here. But it's because he's got a jetpack and he's flying. Death Watch Mandalorian, I forgot it says the names down there. Number 21 in the Mandalorian, because they've made practically everything from this. Picture on the back in a bio. An extremist clan that attempted to take over Mandalore during the Clone Wars. The Death Watch Mandalorians are tenacious warriors embracing the ancient, tra ancient traditions of their people. If you're three and under, you can't. You see... Three and under, and apparently look like that, you cannot touch this figure. But, I mean, what child's buying this? I mean... Never mind, ignore that statement, but yeah. Yeah, this is... Oh, this is the superior Death Watch figure, because they did make one for the Clone Wars, but they just were lazy and reused Boba Fett. Not Boba Fett, Jango Fett. And it looked like garbage. But this is the superior one, and honestly... Without a doubt, one of the best black series I've handled. It's it's a tie between him and Boba Fett. Oh, next review. But yeah. Talking about accessories, you can see he's kind of holding one of them. But we'll get to... We'll break down his accessories. Let's talk about his pistol first, because this is... As far as I know, the only bit of reuse on the figure, I think. Come on, focus. It's just Mandalorian Blaster, nice gunmetal gray, kind of sparkly, nice sculpt, brown handle. It is the exact same as the one that came with Bo-Katan, get into focus, except this one is painted so much nicer. But yeah, like Bo-Katan and every Mandalorian ever, he's got a pouch that you can slide the gun in. Like so, buckle up, and bada bing bada boom, it just does not want to be in focus, does it? Pop that jetpack back on, and yeah, his next gun, the gun that I've never actually put in his hand till now, this rifle, it looks great, getting it out of his hand, but yeah, this is how he holds it, it looks great. Hold it with both hands, kind of hard to get his trigger finger in there, but it is a pretty bendy plastic, but I... I, I probably shouldn't be bending it like that but yeah it's got great sculpting nice rivet detail there or grip detail little scope got a stock back there looks great no way to store it on him but also if you wanted to see him holding the uh the pistol he holds it much better at least in his hand bada bing bada boom he can go pew pew you know what i mean as any good Star Wars person should because at the end of the day it is called Star Wars there's going to be a bit of battling going on but yeah looks great but l l let's just let's get to the elephant in the room the jetpack it, it does not stay on in the slightest the, it just needs to be way thicker like, this is way too short of a peg to be going through a rubbery piece and into the chest. 
it just it does it does not stay in well at all most of the time you're handling it it's gonna fall out but rather than that the one complaint i have with this figure and the fact that his antenna is a little bent but that is how it came out of packaging let's talk about how phenomenal this figure is getting onto this helmet sculpt this is the best mando helmet i've ever seen on a star wars figure this looks exactly like the Boba Fett helmet, which obviously this is supposed to be is like Boba Fett's helmet, but you know, because Mandalorian helmet. It looks better than Boba Fett's actual helmet, which it, it, I'm shocked. It's got a little bump there, which does look a little weird, but it is, I think, just a detail because Boba Fett also has it. I don't, I can kind of see it there. But yeah, it's got a nice light blue in there. Visor's painted well. He's got a bit of a purplish color around the visor he's got his antenna or visor thingy which can move down but i'd be careful because it's pretty thin it does not move back at all but yeah it's not as thick as rex's so yeah definitely definitely gotta take care of that back of the helmet got some nice sculpt work i think these yeah it's painted purple too it's kind of hard to see because they blend in so well jetpack nice blue got some nice silver picked out these actually move which are cool but yeah, it just comes off. Feel some nice back detail. Got a little bit of armor up there. And this whole chest piece is, uh, can't tell. It's rubbery. Which, actually, I don't think they did that for the, yeah, they didn't do that for the Mandalorian. So this, but they did it for, like, Tech and I think Boba Fett. Yeah, Boba Fett. But yeah, that torso piece looks nice. I love the look of it. Got some silver scrapes here and there, but I love the blue on it. It looks so good. Got those beautiful white stripes painted very crisply. These are also a rubbery piece. They kind of did what the Iron Man thing is, where they feed it into the shoulder, so it moves with it. On this arm, you got, like, the markings, then the Death Watch logo, I believe. Yeah. Looks great. You just got some wrinkles. The... Mandalorian clothes got his gauntlets nice very nice light blue with a little bit of silver picked out got the hands classic like Mando look with the thingy there on the this arm got like some silver there whatever that is I don't know Mandalorian armor he's kind of got like a grayish purple undersuit and he's got like this really thin belt looks a little wonky because I'm used to the thicker belts of like Mando and Boba. Boba's got a thick belt, right? Oh yeah, it's got a really thick belt. Yeah, it's got nice pouches. It comes, the holster is on, but it also has a strap that goes around the thigh and goes under this armor piece, which is rubbery, as is this one, and the pads. Basically, every piece of armor on him is rubber, except for the forearm and the head. But yeah, looks great. Got some nice gold there. Pouches all the way around. A little bit of butt plate there. Some nice cloth sculpting. This actually goes all the way around, which is nice. Got that kind of armor design. The more white markings, which I just love the white markings so much. Got them in his Mando knees. Knee pads. Got the missile things. They ain't painted, but it's alright. Got his boots. They look really nice. Overall. You can just tell, looking at him, sculpt-wise, he's got all these nice lines and wrinkles. He looks great, and for the most part, feels really great. He's one of those, like, figures where it's like, he just feels so good. He does actually have a blue head underneath. But yeah, he's got dumbbell joint, goes that far down, that far up. Tilts a bit, rotates, visor goes down, arm moves up that far rotates but it can only go that far before the shoulder pad doesn't really like to move but how much are you going to move it single jointed elbow rotation hinge forward and back rotates there this one is up and down of course a diaphragm joint which like most diaphragm joints moves like the vagus bit forward actually moves back back a good bit so you can get his head looking up a bit to get like a nice jet pack pose which looks great Rotates a bit, bobs side to side. Legs kick forward really well, but not back at all. Because it's got a fatty back there. Can do the splits pretty well. Rotation 
at the upper leg and at the knee. Single jointed knee goes decently back. Foot kicks back that far. Forward. Does it kick forward or is it just not? Oh, it does not really move forward. And a tilt. Also, one thing, one complaint I do have to say that I noticed about this guy while trying to get set up for the video is that he kind of has a problem standing, but he kept falling forward, which is weird because you'd think jetpack he'd be falling back. But yeah, let's do some comparisons. Average Marvel Legends here, he is next to Moon Knight. Moon Knight is a bit taller, but Black Series is usually a little bit smaller. Average Voyager class, here's the Siege Shockwave. He is a bit taller. Fortnite figure, here he is next to the Foundation, another blue boy. And here he is next to McFarland, the Riddler. So yeah, obviously way bigger. Now let's do some Mando comparisons. Here he is next to... Oh my god, I forgot her name. Bo-Katan, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I forgot her name. They look great together, even though she's, like... Is it, like... Night Watch, Owl Watch, something different. But she was part of the Death Watch. I don't know, I don't... I forgot what her new clan thing is. I'm forgetting everything about this character, apparently. But yeah, they look great together either way. Just because I have her out. Sabine. And for a couple Boba Fetts, here is the original Boba Fett. This is just the carbonized version and the newer Boba Fett from Return of the Jedi. And as you can see, this guy has the best helmet out of them all, which is funny because he's, you know, not Boba Fett. And for some Mandalorian series next to the Black Series Mando, definitely need a newer version of that. Here he is next to the uh, model kit. Mando, the superior Mando. He is a bit taller. If you want to see a review of this figure, just let me know. I do a bit of modification to get the cape to look great. But yeah, this is by far the best looking Mando that I own. It. Oh, I love it so much. Got him in a gun slinging pose. And finally, the one figure which I thought. The reason why I probably. Because. Wait. I forgot he rotates at the gauntlet too and the arm but yeah the reason why because like i walked in the target i saw him i had money and i was like you know what i'm probably never going to see him in stores again because all i see in targets are man not mandos landos which was mandos and then the one carbonized uh john favreau mando that he plays in the mandalorian i forgot its name pa paz vizsla i think i don't know but yeah, and I was looking at him, and I was like, I'm never going to get this chance again, probably. And so far, I haven't, because I haven't seen him again. So I got it, and I was pleasantly surprised, because from when I saw pics of it, I thought it was just going to be a re, like, repaint slash vague retool of this Mando. Which is good, but, you know, this... Like, the armor bits look so similar, but putting them side by side, they are completely different figures. And this is miles better than what this guy is. Oh my god, I love, even though he is, like, vaguely shorter, I just, I just love this guy so much. He's great. I highly recommend picking him up. If you love Mandos, you don't even, like, if you just love Mandalorians, I highly recommend getting this guy. Ignoring the jetpack problem, which is really annoying, but rather than that, he's great. He's a great figure. A little hard to put. I, he's got his arm out like he has a gun in his hand, but he doesn't. Let's put a gun in his hand. But yeah, this figure is great. Um, He's got a few flaws, but he's one of those figures that just, like, you pick him up and you're like, my god, he feels phenomenal. He feels really, like, well-made, like, really high quality, like, ugh. The only other figure I think can rival him as being my favorite Black Series is this Boba Fett because he, although doesn't have the phenomenal helmet, actually has a jetpack that stays on and is really great. But you'll see my feelings for this figure in the next review. Like, subscribe, 
check out my previous videos. We've done some Marvel Legends. We've done some Transformers. We've done some more Black Series. We're going to be doing more Black Series in the future. I got a Transformer coming in the mail. And if they ever release the Disney Plus Wave 3 of Marvel Legends, I'll probably review every single one of them. So stay tuned. Go check out my Instagram, Moon Knight XO. You can get sneak peeks to, on what the next videos are going to be. Oh, see, the jetpack just literally fell off with just me touching it. And also, sometimes you get to pick which the next review will be. Because on my story, they actually voted Death Watch Mandalorian over Boba Fett. So yeah, that's why he's first. So yeah, this figure's great. Highly recommend it. I love it so much. I, I love messing with it. He's, he's so cool. Even with the jetpack problem. Like, look at this. This looks amazing. Like, come on now. That is phenomenal. But yeah. Hope you have a great day, and I can't really do the peace out. Uh, peace out. Yeah, that's definitely going to be the weirdest peace out that I've probably ever done.